Hello again, everybody. My name is John Healy. I do podcasts. The name of the podcast is called It's Good to Talk. I'm, people know me from this book I published, and that's how it all started. It's a story about Stoney McGurn. I produced it. The podcast is sponsored by LiffyMovement.com. Today, my guest is Sergei Yaklikin. He is a senior research scientist at the Memorial Sloan Hospital for Cancer. He is from Russia, and I have lots of questions to ask him about his work day to day which is very serious, and maybe on the side if he has hobbies to relax. Sergey, good evening. How are you? Uh, hi, John. My pleasure Thank you to see you. My pleasure to be invited at your podcast. Uh, I'm doing fine. Thank you. Tell us, like, where were you born? I was born in Russia in the small city called Garadets, which is the middle part of Russia. It's called, uh, it's a part of the Nizhny Novgorod region, former Gorky. And then my parents moved to Siberia, basically to Krasnoyarsk region, which is uh, central uh, Siberia. Russia is very interesting. I was in Moscow in 1992. I was there when McDonald's opened their first uh, fast food chain, McDonald's in Moscow, the week I was there. And it was time of perestroika and Gorbachev. Lots of things were going on. So tell me, your study took you into science, obviously. Yes. Was that always what I you have, wanted? Yes, I have been always fascinated by the nature, uh, how nature works, what is how nature works in itself, what are the laws governing the nature, and how biological uh, living things are made of, how they organize, how they are structured, why and globally why we have life on Earth, and how this world, biological uh, world, has evolved as it, as it is to start with. So your study took you to science. Did you study in Russia? Or? Yes, I did study in Russia. I, I had my a degree in molecular biology in Moscow at the Institute of Molecular Genetics at the Russian Academy of Sciences. And then afterwards, I uh, continue my scientific career at the University of Pennsylvania, where I pursue my research in the area of uh, developmental biology. Memorial Sloan Catering is famous and well-renowned here in the United States of America, especially for its advances. Uh, recently, I did a fundraising for a little girl who has uh, brain cancer, which seems to be common in a lot of like young babies up to a certain age. And right. uh, seemingly, Sloan Catering, Memorial Sloan Catering is the only hospital in the United States that does research and science on it. And she's the little girl is making some progress with some other kids that I know, too. So right. just can you like talk to us about maybe the brain cancer, like other cancers, uh, every cancer is important, of course, but uh, brain seems to be more difficult one, is it? Yes, it is. Um, brain cancer, the problem uh, with the brain uh, cancer, it's very difficult to access it uh, by using uh, cancer drugs because of existence of the uh, blood barrier, which now allows uh, easily to penetrate some drugs. So in other words, there is uh, obstacles for drugs to penetrate uh, easily to, to, into the brain, uh, which makes it difficult to treat. Another thing is that in the cancer, uh, there is no immune system as it is. But uh, it seems like lately it's getting recognized that immune system is important for uh, detecting cancer and to some extent to slow it down. Uh, where while I would say that during the further progression of the cancer, cancer tend to avoid uh, immune system, but nevertheless, it's now it's getting more accepted that cancer immune the immune system is important uh, for initially at attacking and containing cancer locally. But brain doesn't have immune system. That makes it uh, much hard, uh, easily for brain tumors to develop, and there is very aggressive form of uh, brain cancer called glioblastoma. At this point, it's probably the most aggressive form of cancer, and the patients don't have a, a survival time. So, And at this point, it's still uh, a very experimental treatment uh, being searched to treat this, uh, this tumor specifically. This is what makes uh, specifically brain tumors uh, very difficult to treat. Okay, I have another kind of unusual question for you. Like, mm-hmm. I'm sure all of my listeners, everybody knows somebody that knows somebody that has had some type of cancer, be it lung cancer, or, uh, breast cancer, case may be. I, mm-hmm. I met a, a gentleman recently. He was probably in his 80s. I just met him casually at a coffee shop. 
and he was recovering from a, he had lung cancer, he had some other kind of cancer and so on and so forth. But he looked very uh, healthy and looked, you know, good, I thought, and from my perspective as mm-hmm. just an ordinary person. So I, I asked him, I said, and he seems to have been dealing with this for a number of years. So I said to him, mm-hmm. how, how and why? And he said, well, the, the, the science, the doctors mm-hmm. and God. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. I mean, I'm an atheist, but I respect people's belief, you know, religion. And then sometimes I, I you meet people and you say, oh, the guy had cancer and he just gave up. So my question is, like, if a person has a strong attitude and a will to fight cancer and beat cancer, does that help with, we'll say, maybe the immune system or psychologically? Yes, I would say it does help because psychological depression, psychological giving up, giving up of this idea uh, makes a certainly difference into uh, stimulating the immune system to maintain uh, at the many level, physiological level, hormonal level that would ultimately could lead to the uh, stimulation of immune system. Because psychologically, if you are optimistic, if you... Right, good. You look on the bright side. Yes. So it it certainly would affect your immune system. It would affect your uh, body state. Even the circumstances could be difficult. But I would say it does make a difference uh, when the person has a positive attitude towards the recovery, towards fighting cancer. It certainly makes a difference, I would say. And my next question... That question is my next question. You as, like, Sergey yourself, are you, like, an optimistic person yourself, like, would you say? Yes, I am. I am very. I'm glad to hear that. Yeah. I'm certainly uh, very optimistic about about what's going on in science right now. Cancer field, it's such a broad field, and I see what's happening, how many... uh, leading labs, institutions trying to find the way to cure cancer, to find the uh, right drugs, to find optimal ways to uh, target uh, different type of cancers. So I am very optimistic about it. Uh, being here uh, in the Sloan Cancer, in cancer Center, it inspires even me more uh, for future, for the bright future of cancer treatment. Uh, despite that cancer, it's Definitely not the easiest uh, disease to deal with, but I am very optimistic because I see how many efforts come uh, put into the finding treatment for cancer. And specifically in our group, um, we developed a drug which uh, can efficiently target many cancer cells. And now my fo- my main focus: we publish our uh, results in uh, recently. In the journal NPG Breast Cancer, which is known uh, journal in cancer research, and now uh, my goal is to continue uh, further to understand how this drug works, to understand what uh, this drug does specifically at the level of a cellular level. We're looking at the cellular morphology, what how drug affects uh, signaling pathways within the cells, and uh, one of the uh, Think about the cancer that many drugs that have been developed over the times uh, tend to, uh, for many drugs, there is a tendency that cells, cancer cells become resistant. So we're now trying to also foresee uh, whether we can predict for our drug resistance in the cancer cells. And if there is a resistance, how we can further predict and develop more efficient treatments if there will be any resistance. While... At this point, we don't see any resistance We're using experimental models uh, as a cell culture or mouse models for, uh, tr- for using our drug specifically. Very, very interesting topic. I'm very happy and proud to have you on the podcast and to talk to you. It's refreshing to know and it's Thank refreshing you. to know that you're optimistic in your outlook. So at the end of your day and stuff like that, and you get away from, to me, what's a serious job, like how do you unwind or relax or... You watch a movie, or you go to. You like music, or I do love music. I I love music. I listen to music. I play music. <laughs> uh, I do like karaoke. I should say. <laughs> All right. Okay. Uh, when I re- recently met you, we had a brief chat about music, and impressed again that you like one of my favorite bands, uh, mm-hmm. U2 Bono. Uh, right. I mean, Bono thinks he's God. I think he's God too. And I got. I don't believe in God, but as long as my sister goes to mass every day and prays right. for everybody, that's good. Do you have your guitar there? Yes, I do actually. Okay, you play us a song. 
<laughs> yeah, with my pleasure. I'm going to play for you. Uh, I haven't found what I've been looking for. Well, I hope you find it soon. Okay. <laughs> I have climbed highest mountain, I have run through the fields only to be with you, only to be with you. I have run, I have crawled, I have scaled these city walls, these city walls. Only to be with you, but I still haven't found what I'm looking for. But I still haven't found what I'm looking for. I have kissed and lips, felt the feelings, felt fingertips, it burns like the fire. This burning desire I have spoke with tongues of angels I have held the hands of devil It was warm in the night It was cold as a stone But I still haven't found What I've been looking for Well done, Sergei. But still, <laughs> thank, thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you so, very much. That, that was my guest today, Sergei. He's a senior science research at Memorial Sloan Catering, doing a lot of good work and really a pleasure again. And good luck with all your research going forward. And I hope we meet again, maybe for. Thank you very much, Joe. My so. pleasure. Okay. Thank Signing you very off. much. Thank you. Okay. Bye bye.